everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi. Sorry if there's an echo. I'm in the bathroom because I've literally just woke up. I thought I would film a day in my life in quarantine. I'm actually so excited because my dad is um, back. So that is why I've basically been putting off filming a day in my life because he's obviously had to self-isolate. He was in Iran. Um, so now that that's done, uh, we can finally vlog together as a family for you guys, which I'm so, so, so happy about. So I hope that you guys uh, like this video and I hope you guys have missed my dad because I've definitely missed him. Um, any of you guys who have been separated from your families because of the situation that's going on, I honestly understand and I feel for you and it's been so hard and I'm just so happy my dad's back. But yeah, I'm just gonna film like what we get up to in the day and um, I'm probably gonna be doing some filming for, for YouTube. I already did some loads of Instagram pictures yesterday. So um, we'll just go with the flow because that's pretty much what I do every day. Um, anyway, I'm sorry if my voice is still croaky. I don't know who films the whole introduction when they've just woken up, but YOLO. And um, also I'm gonna wash my face with this. If you guys watch my everything I've bought in quarantine video, um, I'll link it down below. But I got this face wash from Kiehl's. It's the it's the Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. And I'm gonna I've had this in this size a few times, but I'm gonna buy the large one because I was trying to swap between this and the Ultra Facial Cleanser, um, so that when my skin would break out free, I would use this one and use this one when my skin broke out. But every time I stop using this and switch to this one, my skin breaks out. So I'm thinking I should just stick to this. To be fair, it is meant to be like a daily face wash. It's not made like to just use during breakouts. I just found that it cleared my breakouts well. So yeah, this is what I've been washing my face with every morning and every night. And I have like a scrub that I use twice a week. And when my skin is really, really broken out, I actually have like this Persian scrub that I use, which is like my holy grail, um, which I'll show you guys in like a skincare routine. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you what I'm washing my face with this morning. So this is how much I use literally that much. And I rub it. I rub it into my hands and then I rub it into my face and I really go in deep on my like chin which is where I break out around my nose and my forehead and I just really really like make sure that it goes in. I've still got a bit of like eye makeup under my eyes because you can see it's a bit black but yeah I really really like massage it in and like especially like your hairline because if you're like me and you like rub your makeup into your hairline then this is really good to like just get it all out. I don't think it gets all your makeup out, which makes me question like, probably because it's not an exfoliator, like how deep is it going into your skin if it can't even get your makeup off, but it's not designed to get your makeup off. So I use my cellar water and get my makeup off first, like in the nighttime. So whilst I brush my teeth, I literally just leave this face wash on my face. I don't know if you're meant to do that, but I find like, it helps because what's the point of like putting it on for two seconds and then washing it off, so. Guys, my hay fever has been absolutely awful. So the first thing I do when I wake up is take an antihistamine. I just, honestly, I can't breathe. My asthma goes bad if I don't have it. And it goes bad anyway, like I'm using my inhaler quite often, which is so awful. Um, oh my god, look at my eye makeup, I need to wipe that off. Um, but yeah, this is what has been getting me through, so I'm going to have this. I'm just going to get that eye makeup off from around my eye with the Ultra Facial Toner by Kiehl's. I literally, it's like a milk, so... I literally just put a little bit and I just dab it in the cotton and just go around my eyes. So it obviously doesn't look that black, um, but yeah, I'm just going to go around. I always go around my hairline as well. Then I spray my face with this NYX Bear With Me spray. I literally got this recently and I just... I like the refreshing feeling of it. And then I'm going to moisturise. So this is my moisturizer, it's the Kiehl's Ultra Moisturizer Cream and I literally just dab it onto my face. 
I have eczema, so my skin gets very dry. But like, I don't like it when the creams are too thick. I used to love really thick creams, but now, as my skin's got a bit better, as I've got older, I like it to be moisturising, not too watery, not too thick, and this is the perfect consistency for me. It keeps my skin hydrated, and um, yeah, I like that to just rub it into my skin. There's something about a skincare routine in summer, like even the sun itself like just makes your skin feel so much nicer in summer, like I love summer so much, I want to move somewhere, you guys always ask me on my Instagram, I want to move somewhere where it's summer all year round, like that is my absolute dream. Not Australia because um, it's too far from the UK and I am British, like at the end of the day I want to always be able to come back to England but yeah somewhere where it's really really hot um but yeah okay i'm gonna go down now i think i'm gonna put a swimming costume on because it's actually really warm out so i might put like a bikini top vibe on um so that i can sunbathe um i've only been doing this for this is the second day now but i just feel like i feel so much more like happier when i have a bit of a tan so i just swapped into this white scoop top and my like, pyjama shorts. Also, forgive the KFC blow. Literally, yesterday, by the way, I'm putting dark body cream all over my body. Yesterday, let me bring you guys down because I feel like you're too high. Yesterday, um, I realized that the KFC drive through is open at like 8.30. So I was like, hey girl, guess who's gonna have her first KFC since her birthday? Me. So um, yeah, literally, I was so excited. I ordered for like a family of 20. So now my dad is like, you're gonna be eating KFC for breakfast, lunch and dinner because we had so much left over. Um, but it was so good. It was honestly like, since quarantine, I've ordered a lot of like different takeaways and ended up liking my home cooked food so much more than the takeaways that I order. This was not one to disappoint, so I'm happy about that. The ones that did disappoint were more like, made me realize that actually when you make the effort with home cooked food, like if you have the time, etc., and all the ingredients, like it's actually so much better. Like cakes that I make myself, I never ever thought I'd say this, but even though they're like, you know, Betty Crocker mix or whatever, but I make the icing from scratch, etc. it's all like fresh from the oven and moist. Cakes I make myself are so much nicer than shop bought cakes never thought i'd say that um so yeah also just moisturize then i'm gonna put spf on and then i'm gonna go lie in the garden and i might have a coffee but i can't eat yet my intermittent fast is gonna end in 45 minutes time so that is when i can start eating but i don't even feel hungry anyway i think it's so easy if you guys don't know what i'm on about i filmed a video recently about um how i lost weight um i've lost like over five kilos now and it's all from intermittent fasting and it's basically you can look it up but it's basically when um, you fast for a period of 12 to 16 hours a day obviously don't do any diet without uh, first checking with your doctor that it's appropriate but um, you basically in the 12 to 16 hours you can only drink um, clear sugar-free fluids so um, like nothing with sweetener like you can't have diet coke but you can have like tea co black coffee nothing with milk etc so between 12 and 16 hours of fasting your body starts to burn its own fat so um, that's kind of how the diet works but yeah gonna go now to the garden also, I wanted to mention one last thing. This lip balm, it's a sample. It's the Butter Mask for Lips by Kiehl's. The girl in Kiehl's, like when I went shopping there, I can't remember when it was, like a while back, she gave me this sample and oh my god, I'm going to repurchase this, but the sample itself is huge, so I'm just I'm kind of living off the sample, you know, clever you know, hustler, tips for how to save money on lip balm, <laughs> but um, no, seriously, I'm going to repurchase this because I actually really, really like it, I'll show you guys, it leaves your, it leaves your lips so moisturised, like, that's what it looks like on the inside, and I just, and all over, and you know, some of them, like, they leave, like, this crappy residue, and this one doesn't, I have another Sephora one that I love, I'm going to show you, I feel like today I'm just in the mood for showing you guys things, so, <laughs> This Sephora one, I love it. I got it when I was in Dubai. If you guys watched my Dubai, Dubai vlog with Lucy, this is the Sephora Dragon Fruit Lip Scrub. So that's exactly what I was going to say. This one has like a scrub inside it. It's really weird because 
Imagine if you're meant to wash this off and I just haven't been washing it off this whole time. But I use it like a lip balm and it's got a bit of a scrub in it, it's got a bit of a tint to it. But I just leave it on. How funny if you're meant to wash this off. Let me know if you guys have this and if you're meant to wash it off. Obviously, I have not been washing it off. I've just been using it as a lip balm. Um, but I really, really like that one. If you feel like your lips kind of need a bit of like getting like crap off of it, that's what I use. Um, and then if you really are looking for like a really like moist, very like wet lip balm, um, that kind of like... It's a bit like a lip gloss, but it's not a lip gloss. I love this one. It's by Madara organic skincare i think i'm pronouncing it right and it's the plum plum lip perfecting balm sina got me this i think she got me this from the sephora in vegas um we don't have sephora here in the uk sadly but um yeah these are my favorite lip balms that i've showed you guys but this one is really really good it keeps your lips moist i also like to use the honey scrub lip scrub by um body shop that is one of my favorites like it just cleanses your lips really well but mine's gone really hard i need to like kind of dab it with something to like get the sugar grounded again guys my dog just loves oh i woke him he just loves lying in the shade like there is all the sun and he just wants to lie in the shade like and he can come inside the doors open but he just wants to be outdoor in the cool breeze he's so cute this is my new favorite song it's called go crazy My mum's just come out the shower, but she's making kufta. <laughs> Say hi to everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> she's making kufta, um, but me and Sana having fish, but she's making kufta. Yes, I make kufta. This is a um, mincemeat, rice, uh, parsley, coriander, um, uh, mint, fresh mint, and I want to be naughty and I want to add some fresh, fresh chili Ooh, as well. Ooh, yummy. I made this, this sauce. Is oh. I fried um, yeah, onion and garlic. And after I add, I add tomato puree. And in the end, I add water. When it's boiling, I put the um, kofta there. But uh, inside the kofta, I want to dry plum and the uh, walnut as amazing as that sounds it also sounds super complicated i feel like you need to write that recipe down if you want people to follow but it's basically iranian kufta tablizi no it's not kufta tablizi it's just it's some iranian kufta. it's kufta marzi <laughs> yeah <laughs> but anyway um i'm a bit more tanned i think uh, i've just been lying out in the sun for an hour i'm gonna have a coffee now and my mum is gonna make me salmon um, so I can eat that. This is a salmon for you. Poor woman has to make like a million different things for everyone. This is a salmon for <laughs> salmon. I'm having salmon, so is Sina. I just, I feel like in hot weather, like I love fish, so. Yummy! So in Iran, people sleep in the afternoons. <laughs> so he keeps falling asleep while sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like afternoon time for him <laughs> just an update her kofta mix actually looks so yum she might need to do this recipe on her youtube i think so let us know in the comments so this is my food i'm sitting out in the garden eating food by myself but it's i know that sounds so sad but it's because everyone else had breakfast and obviously i didn't because of intermittent fasting so um that's also why the first thing i'm eating today after my coffee is salmon and rice but it's just because it's lunchtime so i fancy lunch some days i have breakfast first and then lunch and then dinner some days i have like lunch then like a light snack then dinner or like an ice cream so long as it's like in my window i don't really care what i eat so i do care what i eat just like i allow myself to have a treat if i want it oh my god flies ew a fly went in my food that's what i hate about eating outdoors by the way there is no way I'd be able to eat all the rice that's on my plate. My mum is just a typical Iranian mum and she just puts way too much rice. But yeah, I love sitting out in the garden and like, you can actually hear the birds these days. It's so mad. I read all these memes on the internet like, what are the birds saying at 5am? And sometimes when it is 5am and I'm awake, I'm like, genuinely, what are you saying though? Like, I'm awake. Are you awake? Yeah, are we all up? Yeah, what do you want to do today? Like, should we fly down to Bournemouth? That's what I think they're saying. Your song? Looking at the way we first met, 
Wait, I think the actual song goes Looking back home where we first met Home? Yeah, I think so, because they met back home and now they're not home anymore Where are they? Outside. I don't know, it's like, imagine like if you met someone in London and then they ended up in Riga Oh, like they're not in their own country? Yeah, I think so but Wait, how do you know they imagine I've got the lyrics wrong maybe it's like, But maybe it's like they went to the park <laughs> <laughs> Socially distanced gathering. But then they're looking back. <laughs> Maybe they're just looking over their shoulders. Wait, I just want to say, have you seen the uh, people who go on dates and then they'll get like, they go to Nobu, right? <laughs> Why Nobu. the air quotes? Not Nobu, wait, which one was it? They went to Rocker, that's it. Like, Why oh, the air quotes? Oh, they I'm went just, to Rocker, like, no air quotes. So, like, imagine people like, they go Rocker, wherever, and then they go on dates to Rocker. Or, yeah. And then they've got their food and they eat the food in the car. Oh yeah. As a date. I don't know if I found that cool or if I found that like, what's the point? I think that's so lame. Like honestly, I just think that. <laughs> I'm seeing, not, no offence, because I'm sure my mates watch this, but you lot who are going Hakkasan and then eating it in your car. I'm just like... Why? Just bring it back home and eat it. Why are you sitting in the car and eating it? Like, I just feel like, why would you A, put that smell in your car? Two, it's not fun to eat in your car. There's more fun especially stuff to do in your these, car, like, like drive, put the roof all down. The ones that that, you have to, yeah, like, where you're just like finger food or yeah, exactly. No, I just I find like just eating I in the eat car sushi is sushi in the aeroplane, and I feel like what the hell yeah. am I doing? Let alone if when I have like yeah, it's a bit. I don't know. So I was thinking, I don't know if I find it cool or if I find it like what are they doing? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> we had to play this song so that we could realise what the lyrics were. <laughs> oh, looking back on... Wait, wait, wait. Also, it was a it's, mix show. Yeah, it's looking said. back on when we first met. I cannot escape and I cannot forget. What were I you singing? What were you even I singing? Said, I said looking back on where we first met and then you said looking back home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said looking back home where we first met. It's looking back on. That's all right, well, listen to your lecture. Listen to your lecture. Listen to your lecture. To your lecture. <laughs> this is all I managed to eat, but it's because it's the first meal of the day. So, yeah, I usually have salad too, guys. But my mum didn't make it because she was busy making the kofta that you guys saw. So yeah, it was just this. So my mum is obviously on the phone to Iran. I've been sitting out in the sun for like a few hours. So I'm gonna go take a body shower and do my makeup and maybe either film a haul for you guys because I've got a Zara haul and a Boohoo haul I wanna do. I've ordered loads of stuff. Just like, I don't know, like go go for a walk. I don't know what to do, guys. It's just, I wanna do something. So yeah, we'll see. So this is what I'm wearing. We are about to go for a walk. These joggers are from Topshop. Showed them in another haul. Um, I love these joggers. I like really into. I'm really into tie dye recently, and uh, yeah, I just really like these joggers. So yeah, no makeup, just like sun bathing skin. I just like her sort here, and I just touched it. That's why it looks so awful. So I'm so excited to leave the house. I literally cannot remember the last time. I left the house. It was probably that vlog where we went into central London for our exercise. Um, so yeah, very, very excited. Also, um, a lot of you guys are asking why we don't wear masks for our daily exercise and it's actually because we, in the UK, we don't need to wear masks um, if we're going into outdoor areas for exercise. But yeah, um, that's why I don't wear masks when I'm walking outdoors. Frida! <laughs> I've been out for, I think, nearly three weeks. <laughs> so I was I saying, swear, not even for that is literally what I was saying. Exam. That's literally what I was saying. I was like, we have not left the house. So I just brought a no, I really. <laughs> we're trying to make. <laughs> we're, we're trying to make montages or whatever. Like make like a little cute YouTube video. Yeah, but it was awful. Ah, cute. <laughs> hey, mom. Mom. Ooh. <laughs> You are so pretty. So, so, look at your hair. Everyone always asks for your hair routine. Look at it in the sun. She has really nice hair. Mama, are you happy? Mm. <laughs> Next person in line, are you happy? <laughs> 
So just got back home and I'm very very hungry. Like I said to you guys, um, I had KFC yesterday and I bought so much. So I'm gonna basically make a KFC chicken wrap, I think, because I've got some of the chicken left and I just, why not? You know what I mean? KFC is my favorite. If you guys watch my birthday vlog, then you know. Um, I feel so tired after that walk. I think we were gone for like two hours or an hour and a half at least. So I'm literally exhausted. I want to eat something. And I didn't have ice cream when everyone else did. So, you know, I can afford to be naughty and have some KFC. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a bit hay fever as well, which is not helping. So this is the feast I've made myself. I like I accidentally made the bread too crispy, but oh well, I'll live. And hot wings and sauce, and I accidentally threw the wrap on the sauce. Of course I did because I was on the phone. But I'm gonna eat all this now. Well, probably not all of it, but I'm gonna eat as much as I can. So my mum's gonna do my eyebrows for me and um, just like clean the middle of it and straighten the underneath bit for me. And oh my god, these spots are just pissing me off. I need to put spot cream on it. But yeah. So a little tip that I have whenever you do like your eyebrows or anything and it's gone a bit red is I get rose water. This is Iranian rose water and I get a little cotton bud and then I just pretty much put it over my eyebrows where I got them threaded. So it's meant to like reduce the inflammation. So in continuance with sort of my self-care, I'm gonna put a face mask on and then I'm going to give myself a pedicure, like take off the ones that I have right now and then take a shower and cut when I come up, I put a new one on or just put a new one, I don't know. Um, but I just feel like one of those days where you just kind of want to take care of yourself. My nails all broke, well one of them broke and then I had to cut all of them. So I'm going to put shellac on them because i feel like that's what also helps to keep them long and strong a lot of you guys ask me how i get my nails so long i think having nail polish like gel nail polish on them allows them to grow out so that's how they get so long but yeah i'm just gonna put this face mask on it's the sephora white clay mask it's remineralizing and soothing and i love these sephora masks so much I just remembered you're not meant to do your top lip. Oops, oh well. So, Sina has a whole like shellac kit and inside it, that's that Sol got her for her birthday at the start of quarantine because Sol predicted that we won't obviously be able to go out and do our nails. Um, and she got her this gel remover. So this is by a brand called Miley. I'll like link it down below um, in case you guys want to do your own shellac nails at home because we don't know when salons are gonna open up again. But um, it's actually like really so much more affordable to do your own nails at home if you can like get the skills to be good at it. Then I 100% recommend to do it. I can't take myself seriously talking to you guys with this face mask on. Um, so I want to get it off my toes because obviously the one on my hands have all grown out. So what I do is I've got these cotton buds and I'm going to cut it to like a size that will cover like my toe. So I basically cut it into like quarters and then I will soak it in this and then I'll put that on my toe and then I will wrap foil around that so that it will basically like come off properly. So this is what my toes look like, I know that's so weird, but I got the shellac off of that one without having to like put foil on it or anything and off of that one. So yeah, just gonna leave this to soak in and I'm going to wash off my face and then do my fingernails and just leave that on there the whole time so that, oh my god, why am I so zoomed in? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it on there the whole time so that it just like fully soaks in. So I got the shellac off and now I'm just gonna paint over it. This is how my hands came out by the way. This is how my hands turned out. I'm kinda happy with that. I think it looks it looks cute. I'm like quite happy with that, like for a DIY job. It's not bad. Quite happy with how my toes turned out and then my hands are like this light pink. So yep, gonna go down now and watch a movie with Sina. So we're just watching some Queen of the South. And I'm gonna just chill with Sina now, relax, maybe have some tea, but yeah. So my dad is making cello kebab. 
Not cello kebab because cello is means rice. All right, fine. Kebab could be there. Kebab could be there. Um, what is this? It's a mint, onion, black pepper, and salt. That's it. Yeah. So this is how we make kubida. My dad makes the best kubida. Honestly, it gives Iranian restaurants a run for their money. And then this is our mangal. Obviously, right now for some reason there's sticks in it, but we're gonna put fire. I am like very, very casually dressed today. I'm literally just in a crop top and denim, like, de are they called Daisy Dukes? Just denim shorts and the sun is out. It's 20 something degrees. So I'm very, very like excited to just chill. And yeah, family time. I'm literally lying out on this DIY bed thing and look at look at the sky it just looks like a picture we're actually blessed with this beautiful weather right now in london look at this all this chef farshad i'm gonna smell of kubida oh my god So if you've been following me for ages, then you will know something is different about my room. Yes, it's tidy apart from that pile but i've put curtains up i've got like curtains up and i've like completely cleaned up my room sorry it's like my nose is so bummed up because of hay fever but um i'll show you guys bear in mind this pile of clothes right here they're all meant to be on a clothing rail but um i'm using the clothing rail downstairs to film a video right now so this will go back on that clothing rail but other than that and these clothes are for a collab here so but like my room has really really like um been opened up because i've got rid of everything on my desk and i've organized my makeup so it's all so much neater and i've organized this cupboard i've taken out all the mess that was in there and this cupboard too it's all been organized obviously some of my shoes are downstairs so i need to put that back and even like this cupboard has all been made neat so i'm really really happy about that and yeah i think my room looks so much nicer i can't because of the way the light is i think this kind of shows it better but because of the way the light is like you can't really see my room is finally so much more like brighter and roomier and i got rid of my desk because obviously i'm not studying anymore for uni so i'm really really happy about that so i came downstairs because sign has got like a little class quiz going on but i got a couple of parcels in the mail from pretty little thing for an insta class so i just thought i'd show you guys um what i got because i actually needed some like summer style stuff so First up is this shirt and it's like this cow print shirt and it's all see-through and like it buttons up like this. I'm going to throw this over a bikini just when I'm sunbathing like in the garden or if I go to Hyde Park with my friends I'll wear a bikini top. This and some shorts. Next is this. It's like a greeny, what is this colour called? Mint, that's it. It's a mint um, scrunched him dress and Sina convinced me to get this because she loves like cowl neck dresses she's like i've got loads of these they're so easy to throw on so i'll just wear this with like trainers and go for like a walk through central london etc so um i just love like nice cute dresses and like trainers i think that's such a vibe obviously you can dress it up with heels too um when the time comes to go on nights out but that's what i'm using this for now then oh i love this then I also got this bag and it's like croc print and it's super cute and structured and I just love that. I think it looks so expensive. Um, it's got like this high fashion vibe to it and 
Um, it looks like it could fit my phone. I don't know, but I just, I think that's so cool. It honestly looks so much more expensive. It doesn't look like a, a high street little, pretty little thing bag. So absolutely love this. I know I'm going to get so much use out of this. Sorry guys, my um, battery died there. But yeah, love that bag. You're now leaning on that bag because I put my phone onto the bag. Um, clever. Now I got these pair of shoes. I'm so excited to show you. They look so cute on the website. And really, really summery. I just, I feel like I don't have as many summer, I don't have as many summery sandals as I want to have, like as much as I need. Like I end up wearing a lot of trainers instead. So I got basically these pair of espadrille sandals. Um, I think they're so cute. Inside feels quite soft. It's like quite leathery, um, even on the top bit of here. So it's not going to rub against your leg and be uncomfortable. And the front, like you have a bit of toe sticking out, but not a lot. And I like that. I don't like it when you've got too much toe sticking out isn't that weird um yeah i feel like for sandals like yeah this is a really really cute vibe the color especially with like this dress i feel like the two of this together is such a vibe so let me know what you think by the way don't worry guys i will link all of this in the description too or you can just follow me on instagram persian bunny and um i will have them all linked on there as well it's basically i've wanted this item for ages um but I wanted it in petite because I'm sure and all the jeans that I buy end up being too long on me. So they had this in petite and it is the split hem jeans. So they are split, they're split at the bottom and they are straight leg and they're like this light wash. So they had different color washes and I chose this like medium light wash. I really, really like it. I think it's so cute and hopefully it fits well too. Um, but my favourite part, obviously, is the fact that the bottom of it is split. So that means, like, your shoe will kind of peek out and it will look really, really cute. So I'm so excited to finally have a pair of these and have it for someone who's my height. A lot of you guys tell me I look taller in vlogs. I'm actually five foot two. So, um, yeah, just for reference, that's why it's easier for me to shop from the petite section also if my eyes keep moving i don't know if i should look at the camera or if i should look at myself um it is the end of this vlog i just now wanted to bring up something because it's currently going on in the news and um i've been wanting to talk about it and this is my first opportunity to talk about it um so it's to do with the black lives matters protests and everything that's happened with george floyd um i actually really really upsets me a lot like from the bottom of my heart that it's the year 2020 and the fact that we've ever had to fight for this and fight for black lives and have to explain to people the black lives matter movement really really upsets me sometimes you find yourself staying silent because in fear of saying the wrong thing but i've realized Saying, staying silent and just showing support through like showing images isn't enough and when I think about even on like let's say a personal level to me when I think about my black friends who are affected by this I want them to know that I support them as well as the entire community and that I want to try and help in any way that I can I'm definitely going to link um, the George Floyd fund down below and just things that you guys can read or watch And really try and help in any way that we can to end the racism it upsets me like from the bottom of my heart that people go out and fear for their lives because of the color of their skin or are treated any way differently because of the color of their skin and i just i'm really really upset by it there's going to be the donation links for george floyd as well like i said the links will all be in the description and um yeah i love you guys so 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 much i'm going to end this vlog here now and thank you guys for watching and supporting and i'll see you in my next video